I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Boy, it is a huge Friday for the CMU Mavs. We've got baseball and lacrosse starting at the Diamond, where Mesa hosted CSU Pueblo, and we begin in the sixth. Mavs down 5-1, to one, but looking to make a comeback. At the play is three-time RMAC Player of the Week, Robert Sharar, and he sends one down the first baseline that bounces off the bag as he's safe at first, two outs, bases loaded for the Mavs. Jonathan Gonzalez hits one down the right field line. I don't know how that stayed fair, bringing in two more runs for CMU. Man, Gonzalez, what a way to come through under pressure. And the diamond is absolutely buzzing. As thanks to a wild pitch, the Mavs now have a 6-5 to five lead and looking to add to it. Kobe Felix hits a routine fly, but because of the strong winds at the diamond, an easy out turns into an unearned run for CMU, giving them a 7-5 five lead. I see him you tax on nine more runs and they take down the Thunderwolves 16 to 12. What a way to kick off a very special weekend for Mavs baseball. And why is it such a special weekend for CMU? Well, former Mav and three time World Series champ and Major League All Star pitcher Sergio Romo returns to his stomping grounds to have his number 54 retired. He can't believe how much CMU has grown. I'm happy for these guys, you know, uh, speaking to the team a little bit ago, I let them know that how blessed they really are to have a facility like they have to call their own ballpark. I think this it's unbelievable how much this place has grown, uh, blown away uh, in, in the most uh, joyous and profound way in a sense, or put it that way, but it's just, it's, it's really fantastic how much this school has really, really grown. And Sergio, you played at three different colleges before CMU. Would you say that you have the closest connection to Mesa? Yeah, I mean, I can, I agree. Uh, I agree with that notion. Um, the reason being is uh, I still keep in contact with former teammates. I feel more connected to the school because of kind of how I got here. There were four seniors on that baseball team that vouched for me when I was transferring from uh, the school in down south um, that believed in me so much uh, to convince Hanks to give me an opportunity. And Sergio, you pitched in the World Series. Nothing could be more nerve-wracking than that, right? Pitching in the World Series was not as nerve-wracking as I thought it would be. Maybe it was just the mode that I was in, uh, where my head game was, the confidence level that I had. Uh, I was actually not nervous at all. I was really nervous coming to Mesa. Um, I was the new guy on the block. I, I was more nervous that I I wasn't going to be cool enough. And how about some good news for the Colorado Rockies? The Rocks end a four-game losing skid in incredible fashion. Ryan McMahon with a walk-off grand slam. You don't see that every day. And Coors Field is loving it as the Rockies win their home opener in about as unforgettable a way as possible. But let's switch over to the lacrosse field where CMU was in action. And Wendy is an understatement. It was blustery at Unity Field. But check this goal out. Concordia's goalie delivering the blow, but somehow the ball is in the net hard to see in real time but the hit literally knocked the ball out and into the net as CMU takes a 4-2 lead over the Eagles but Concordia Irvine had a response Matt Caressi with the sidearm shot to get in the net gets the Eagles within one now Chad McFadden with a with space to shoot and he lasers it in as just like that Concordia has tied it at four a nice swim move by Philip Peterson then off the feed JJ Brummett with a seed in the back of the net as the Mavs have the lead late in quarter two and senior goalie Mac Bayless looking to keep the Mavs in front the stick save keeps the score six to five as the Mavs would head to halftime with the one goal lead but it was a different story in the second half as Colorado Mesa asserts their dominance on their home field and outscore Concordia 12 to nothing in the second half utterly and thoroughly ridiculous as the Mavs have now won five in a row outscoring opponents 57 to 11 in their last three games and in women's lacrosse CMU was handled earlier today to one of the top teams in the nation Regis 16 to 7 an absolutely loaded night of sports all right here in Colorado. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Evanson.